Hello there, a very good evening to you from the National Arena Todor Proeski Stadium in Skopje, North Macedonia. It's FC Skupi versus Shamrock Rovers in the UEFA Europa League third qualifying round. It's the second leg, the first leg won by Shamrock Rovers, of course, at uh, Tala Stadium by three goals to one. It's Con Murphy and Graham Gartland on commentary for this game from this fine stadium. But just about all set to go. They've been watering the pitch for the last 10 or 15 minutes as well. So hopefully the surface here will be fairly uh, slick. It doesn't look quite as good as the immaculate carpet at Tala Stadium, but not bad nevertheless at this, the national stadium for North Macedonia. So referee just waiting for an indication from the UEFA official to get this game underway. A toot of the whistle. And away we go, Shkupi playing in their traditional blue colours, right to left in this first half, Rovers in the green and white hoops, of course. And straight away, Shkupi looking to get something going. Only tail tonight. Yeah, it's a positive start from them. They've just gone very direct. Uh, I think it's hard that wins the first header, but you can tell that they've put a lot more bodies into midfield to allow them to pick up seconds. And once they win that second, then they're very direct with getting it into their strikers. I think Adam Tunde is going to play off the left-hand side by the looks of in Georgiev will go through the middle. The centre, yeah. yeah. Georgiev looked pretty good when he came on as a sub the uh, other night, so he will be a threat. So the back three for the hoops are going to be kept busy. Lovely flick on there from Gaffney, really well played to find... Aaron Green tries to play the return ball to Gaffney, shows good pace. Rory Gaffney, lovely bit of skill from him. And eventually, a chance here for Rose. Oh. Oh, it's gone over the top towel with the effort. Namovsky with an important stop. I think it was Namovsky. It came off. Really good build-up, though. Scoopy. Plenty of bodies forward here, played into the Senegalese player at the end again, the player who gave away the penalty in the uh, first leg, and that was wasteful that time. Yeah, it's a really poor decision in fairness. The angle he's trying to shoot at, he's, he's not even set the touches and set for him to shoot. Was, Just over right. elaborate because he, he's, yeah, he's right footed, and there you go again. They're in here, Rovers. A chance here for the hoops. Yeah. A real chance. Ball played back to Tell. First touch from Tell. Oh, what a block on the line. It's with Gaffney now, and the goalkeeper makes the save. Oh, that's such a chance for Shamrock Rovers. 37 minutes in. Sengor with the block on the line from Richie Tell. Twice he's been denied tonight. Twice he's come so close to opening the scoring for Rovers. It just comes from the pressure. Ronan Finn, Aaron Green willing to chase up in that corner. It's terrible play from the goalkeeper, Marcus Vashvili. Really poor. They got, they got caught out already, and then they decided to go back out. He wasn't ready, he wasn't set to play. That's a good ball inside to Rory Gaffney, the shot from Gaffney, yes. it's in! Rory Gaffney puts Rovers ahead, they now lead 4-1 on aggregate, 1-0 on the night, deflected shot over the keeper, into the net, and those celebrations tell you everything about how important that goal could be. It's a wonderful pass from Bork, and it just opens up the whole midfield, and Gaffney's in at the back four. He decides to, I think Green is offside, so he doesn't slip him through and tries to take the shot on himself. It takes a deflection, and it's a deflection that loops it up over the goalkeeper, and that's Rovers. 1-0 up on the night and 4-1 up on aggregate. You see the deflection just loops it over the goalkeeper and gives him no chance. Yeah, struck uh, the substitute, Jalil Abdullah. Uh, Namaski could only wave at the ball as it sailed over. And blocks passes, make sure that you either have to go through him. Burke for Idemo Amaku. Amaku is onto it. Chance here for Idemo. Yes. It's 2 0. Amaku makes it 2 0 for Rovers, and surely that is that. If there was any question, well, Amaku has done it. He just has the knack of scoring in Europe, doesn't he, Con? It's a wonderful run, actually. If you see, he makes the run originally to go down the side and then peels back out. Bork again just clips another wonderful little ball over the top. The goalkeeper comes out and he's, I think he just misses it completely and it falls for Amaku. You see, they, they both just miss it and Amaku just has the easiest of finishes with his left foot again. There's internationals playing. 
Ryan Borg's an Irish international, Jack Bourne's an Irish international. Oh, they've given the ball away there cheaply, and a chance here, and Scoopy have pulled one back, that will be annoying, it's not earth-shatteringly important, but it's uh, one of those ones where you want to keep a clean sheet, and four minutes into stoppage time, they give the ball away on the edge of the area. And you can see how clinical he is when he does get a chance like that, it's like a frustration when he hasn't celebrated, but Cabinet just takes a little bit out of, more out of the ball than he should, he's too casual with it, he hasn't got his arm out to protect the ball, it gets nicked and it just falls to Adam Tunde and he, he, he slots it into the far side netting and Alamanis doesn't even dive and it's a wonderful finish but it's just a consolation for them at the minute. You see Kavanagh just overplaying, he turns, he used the run, he uses the run of Alvarez to buy himself some space. Yeah. Rovers, there was a push by Sengor and uh, the last play of the game is going to be a Rovers free kick. Yeah. He's the last person you want on the ball, Bork, when you have to get it back because you have to jump at him, you have to jump out at him, you have to try and make a challenge. And there won't it. be time for the free kick to be taken because the referee blows the full-time whistle and it's a win for Shamrock Rovers on the night. It's a win on aggregate and Stephen Bradley's team are going through to the playoff round in the Europa League. They will play Ferencváros of Hungary 